Well, thanks to everyone for showing up to what is the first of hopefully many episodes of Willis Outdoors Television. As you know, it got released a few days late here, according to Facebook rules. I thought they didn't want to mess with any possible copyright infringements as far as my music content went on the show. So I have removed the music, including the opening theme song, unfortunately. So um, you'll be seeing my opening intro without any of the gnarly heavy metal music that's supposed to be playing on it and some of the other spots during the show. But, barring that, hope you enjoy the show. We'll talk to you later. See, that wouldn't that have been much better with music. Here's the lowdown. It's Friday, September 11th today. Tomorrow is the 12th, opening day of Wisconsin's bowl season. We'll be heading up to Washera County in hopes to get something big opening day, or at least a good chance to see something. But I figured I'd run through the day before opening day of what I like. Here's what it looks like the day before bow season in this household. Normally, what do you think of when you're saying getting ready the day before hunting season? But, got stuff like these. Got stuff like these. Got stuff like this. The same. Hunting equipment, what am I doing? You know what that means? Don't. Well, you soon will. This is my day before hunting season. Show, good of you to join us. Figured to show you a little bit today about what we do on the days that we're not out in the woods. So, one of the little ways I spend a lot of my time is doing stuff like this. We're doing a pyrotechnic show here in Kakauna, Wisconsin at WIR Raceway called Eva Destruction. Demo Derby, monster truck, jet car, figure eight races mass destruction on a mass level and we do the booms for it. So uh, we're going to be around here for quite a while yet tonight. Get you a little bit of the show here on what we do here. Then it's up in the morning to go to the big woods try and kill us all some deer. That's a whole lot of boom.
all my pyro work for the day is done. Uh, it's time just to just do a little bit of cleanup and then it's off to go on. It's opening day, ramp way up the Wild Rose, half an hour through on our one hour drive. So we're just heading up there, we're just getting fueled up, getting ready to go. Here's a reminder. Well, we didn't find the crossbow bolt, but as you know, we found my arrow. Looks like uh -huh. both shots were. Looks like both shots were clean misses. So I guess we'll keep on hunting. Well, in a minute, I'm going to be taking my leave to go down over to my stand. card on my field camera and sit there for a little while until we're ready to go for breakfast and uh, talk to you in a minute. Well, 
Opening day came and went without much, too much more fanfare. Uh, we didn't really see much else for the rest of the day, so, well, on to day two. Let's hope that brings us something better. Well, the one thing I didn't know about that scene until later on when I got home and actually reviewed my footage is I actually got that deer on video. It was crazy. I set my camera down, just wanted to take a shot. For some reason, I didn't hit pause on the camera, which is a good thing. So if you look back, you can see my Luminox flying through the air, and then you see the deer do a backward somersault. It's awesome. First deer I ever got on video for, for a kill. And, wow, just amazing. Deer. Um, what we thought was a doe the whole time, and even after we shot it, even after we watched it for a while, it turns out it was a nubby. That's right. A lot of people get mad at me for taking these out, but hey, they taste good. And like I've probably mentioned before, we're meat hunters, we're not trophy hunters. So this will go home, this will go into my freezer, and it'll taste good. The only thing you know is we got the rest of the afternoon and it's going to be 83 degrees so I got to get work on getting this registered, get her iced down, cooled off, and make sure it's able to be saved for the rest of the afternoon so the meat don't go bad. But backstrap and tenderloin for dinner tonight. That's right. Getting this on tape instead of just uh, because I had to put the camera down to be able to take a shot at him after Droopy shot because his crossbow is uh well you can't really reload it when it's standing there it takes a minute second afternoon here uh, the opening weekend of the 2009 bow season well we already got one down that one I took back in our lunch break and already skinned and butchered it 80 degrees you don't want a deer like that sitting out all afternoon while you're waiting to 
for the evening hunt. So we got that all butchered up. It's already sitting in the freezer and waiting for us at home. Uh, we're just waiting uh, another maybe two hours for the rest of the crew to get up here for the evening hunt. So we're going to go out and sit in the woods for a couple hours, go out and do a little bit of scout and wait for him to get up here. And then when we do, we'll take you on back for a ride back there again and see if we can't get us a deer. Some with antlers this time. Big antlers, not just little ones. So yeah. Stick around. Well, I hope you enjoyed our first installment. That was our pilot episode of Willis Outdoors Television. There's going to be a lot more to come. Uh, hope you join us for more.